Most of us are familiar with the cute little leaf munching caterpillars that we plant host plants for and will become the brightly colored butterflies and moths we all love to see frequenting our native plant gardens. But what if I told you that these cute little leaf munchers may look like caterpillars but are in fact the larvae of a vastly different insect? These are the larvae of an insect called a sawfly, a relative of wasp and bees, which are so named for the saw-like ovipositor of the female. Sawflies do not sting, but are known for their habit of laying their eggs in plant leaves and stems with the help of the saw on their hind end. The eggs hatch into often gregarious, caterpillar-like larvae that in some cases are agricultural or forestry pests. Although the larvae's role as pest is often heard about, the inconspicuous adults of many species feed on nectar and pollen and are important pollinators for some plants. Much like caterpillars, the larvae of sawflies are eaten by a wide array of critters, including birds, mice, lizards, tree frogs, and a ton of predatory insects. If you love learning about the diversity of insects in your yard, be sure to pollinate that like button. So how do you tell a caterpillar from a sawfly larva? While they do look very similar, there are two huge differences between them. Caterpillars will have five or fewer pairs of prolegs, the fleshy leg-like projections along their abdomen. Sawflies will have six or more pairs of prolegs. Also, the prolegs of caterpillars will have two hook-like claws called crochets at the ends. Sawflies are lacking crochets on their prolegs. If you have a clear picture or the larva in hand, these differences are quite easy to see, especially if you can enlarge the photo or have a hand lens. After some experience, separating the caterpillars from sawfly larvae as they feed and move about on their host plants will become second nature. Sawflies are much like butterflies and moths in that their larvae often have very specific host plants on which they feed. To learn more about host plants, check out this video and be sure to get out and explore nature in your backyard.